welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how much money i can make out of selling chocolate covered strawberries for valentine's day if you guys are interested in this video please keep on watching Before we get started on the video, I wanted to give you guys a little bit behind of why I decided to make this video. I recently posted a video showing you guys how to make chocolate covered strawberries yourself and it was made for you to do it for Valentine's Day. But when I posted up that video, a lot of people asked me if I can make some for sale and I mean, who doesn't want to make extra money? I don't run this business. It's not a business. It's nothing. I personally don't do this on the daily, but I mean, anybody can do this and it's super easy and why not have a little bit of fun with it so my husband actually told me that i should make a lot of them for sale so what i decided to do was ask my co-workers if they wanted to buy some chocolate covered strawberries and most of them agreed to it so i got a lot of orders there i didn't post this on social media or anything i didn't think i was gonna have this many orders you guys will be surprised i have almost 200 strawberries that i have to make tonight i don't know what i got myself into but um, I am excited. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, yesterday, actually, I went out to buy the strawberries. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I went out yesterday to buy the, the strawberries and I couldn't find them. So I was having a little panic attack there because I went to Costco. Um, Costco usually sells a lot of portions for cheap. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy them there. Originally, when I started thinking of the idea of selling them, my idea was always to go to Costco. On Sunday, my husband told me, he's like, oh, you should start buying the strawberries now because they're on sale. But because I wanted to them, I wanted them to be as fresh as they could. I was like, no, I'll wait a little bit longer. Wednesday, I went. Costco strawberries were $11 for, I think it was like maybe 24 strawberries and my heart sunk. I was like, I'm about to waste over $100 in strawberries. Like I am not making any profit out of this. Like what am I gonna do? So then I didn't buy them there. I decided to go to another store. I went to another store. They didn't have any. When I tell you any, like they didn't have anything, they didn't have none whatsoever. So I was like, all right, great. So like, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna tell these people that they don't have any more strawberries and I'm not gonna make them or like what, you know? So I decided to go to Walmart and thank God Walmart had some strawberries because honestly I was having a panic attack thinking that I was gonna have to tell all these people that they didn't have any strawberries. So I was able to find them. I actually bought eight cases of, no, I bought 16, 16 cases of strawberries and I might have a lot of leftover strawberries, but you know what? I was so happy that I found them. They weren't that expensive, so to whomever runs businesses like this like what do you do in that like situation like what if they don't have them do you guys have like your own carriers i have no clue so if you guys are planning on doing this for like a business make sure you know where to get them because honestly me myself i had no clue i didn't think about it like long term wise i didn't think anything of it but i found them and i get to make the strawberries for my coworkers tomorrow so i'm pretty excited about that uh, my husband's gonna be helping me he's currently still at work so when he gets home he'll help me a little bit of like putting the strawberries in their containers and stuff because it is for valentine's day i decided to go a little bit above and beyond with the decorating not so much decorating but how it look so i'm going to share with you guys in a little bit how i did that and then at the end of this video i'll show you guys the prices that i put each thing for and how much money i made these are the strawberries i ended up going with the reason why you see all these sticky notes on there with different numbers is because did you know that these don't actually have 12 strawberries in them I didn't know that so I always thought that they had 12 and when I was at Walmart I counted a box of them and they said 12 so I just tallied up the numbers and some of them have up to like 19 strawberries in them so who knew so I bought this whole case and then there's this one that's full too and then down to this side we have all of the cases we're going to be using so these are all the hearts that I got and then I bought these little plastic containers some of these were bought on Amazon the others were bought at Walmart also, and then inside I have these little heart-shaped cupcake ones, which is the same ones I used in the video. They look super cute in the box with the strawberries in them. And then I decided to buy little hearts to put on the top and then some ribbon just to seal everything up. But I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm going to be here for a while making these strawberries. As you can tell, I have all of those to do these boxes here. I have over 15 orders of these here, so let's get started on making these strawberries. Mm -hmm. 
this is how all my strawberries are looking right after I've washed them. I don't think I've ever seen this many strawberries. Now, let me say that now I need to cover all of these in chocolate. As I am warming up my chocolate for my second round, this is how I have my strawberry set up. I use the stove because it's the biggest piece I have right now to work with since I'm using the microwave up here, chocolate, and then everything's kind of all set. Right after this, I'm going to start going to packaging them. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the way I'm going to be packaging them um, as soon as I get done with all of these strawberries here. I do still have about 150 strawberries left to do. Um, I just needed more chocolate, but um, bear with me and then we'll show you guys the end product. guys so i've been doing these strawberries for the past five hours now so i wanted to show you guys a little bit of how i was able to package them the ones that are one dozen came in like this so it's one tray with eight of them and then the top has i think four and then i just went ahead and put it in a little cute little arrangement there and then these little boxes here um, if they got like any type of flavor i sold them for five dollars and the strawberries were uh, four dollars plain uh, for a pack of four so that's that and then if they did get the heart i sold it for eight dollars and this is how it came out um, it was a mixture of any flavor that they wanted as i was making these strawberries my brother-in-law actually asked me if i was able to make him a box with the wine and the flowers and i'm just gonna add the strawberries on the sides but because it's for valentine's day he said he'll pick them up tomorrow so i'll have that done by the end of today's video next day now and all of the strawberries have been delivered except the one which my brother-in-law is going to be coming to pick up pretty soon it's the one that has the wine bottle in it but i wanted to share with you guys all the numbers i wanted to share with you guys how much money i spent how much money i gained and how much money i profited so to start off with i did invest 102 dollars with 19 cents if you see me looking down it's because that's where i have all my notes but like i mentioned 102 dollars with 19 cents is how much money came out of my pockets to buy everything the strawberries the chocolate the containers that the strawberries were in the cupcake cups that the strawberries were in and the little decorations that i went ahead and put onto them so i gained a total of 264 dollars so if you do the math, I gained $161.81 was my profit. So I made $161, which is not bad because it only took me five hours to do. Yes, it was very tiring. My hands hurt. My feet were hurting. My back was hurting at the end. Five hours to make over 200 strawberries is a lot of work. But there's, there's money in this business. If you guys are short on money and don't know what to do, I would highly recommend you guys to do this. I um, mean, you can always sell them for more. I went a little bit cheaper, I believe, with my uh, numbers, but because I have never done this, I didn't know really what to expect. Um, but a lot of people were telling me that I could definitely sell these for a little bit more. So if you guys are looking into ideas, I would highly recommend trying to go with the route that I did and making it look nicer. But if you guys did enjoy this video of me trying a little business idea uh, give the video a thumbs up that way i know that you guys are interested in this type of video so i can make more who knows maybe i can go to a restaurant next and see if a restaurant idea is a good idea but um i'm gonna share with you guys what i got eric for valentine's day you guys can kind of see it back here i'm just gonna show you guys a quick little overview of how that looks but before i do let you guys go if you guys did like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys all in my next video